Hi everyone, this is Candy from Chaos and Crafts at blogspot.com doing a quick video to show how you can resize um, items from SVG cuts and keeping them all in proportion with each other. So go ahead and open your library. What are you doing? I'm making a movie, honey. Mm -hmm. My daughter's up too. Mm -hmm. um, I've got this one ready. What I'm going to do, I like to just drag them in there or double click. It's easier for me. Just go ahead and get all of the items you need on one screen. Then when they're all on there, just click anywhere outside of them. You're going to drag your uh, mouse cursor to make them all in a box. When they're all selected, go on to the bottom. You'll see the little corner that's going to keep everything in proportion and just resize as needed. Then all you have to do is just drag the extra pieces you're not cutting right now off the mat and cut the one you need, then move it out of the way, move the next one on. Another option, if you wanted, if you'll notice, right here we have 7.575. Click the next one, 7.575, 7.575. Okay. SVG Cuts, okay honey, in a minute. In a minute. SVG Cuts makes all of their items in proportion uh, width-wise. So if I change this proportion down here, doing the same thing, just clicking the edge, dragging it out, if I make it eight, well, assuming I made it eight perfectly, um, then I go ahead and make this one the same. I think that was 8.005, which is not easy to do right off the top. Anyhow, if you went into um, the resize button, lock the ratio, and then you can, you can make, excuse me, quickly and easily make it the same exact thing, that's another way to do it. So uh, either way works. I like just grouping everything at once and resizing. That's what works best for me. But again, with SVG Cuts, you also have the option of just going and changing to make sure that bottom number is the same on all of them, and then they'll all remain in proportion. Hope that helps. Thanks.